Alright, so here I am fighting a blue belt wrestler. I, I want to get my grip on him to prevent his shots or his takedowns. There he is there from a distance. I get my left hand on him and that's going to keep him at bay from the takedowns. He's leaning back here so I go for a quick kochi and push him over for uh, almost a completed takedown right here. He gets my leg and goes for a shot and he ends up finishing the takedown here. But it's okay, uh, I'm in a really strong guard here. I have my overhook with my left hand and I am able to start working the choke from here. And I also have a potential shoulder lock or arm bar. Okay, um, I'm having a hard time finishing. So I decide to get back to my feet. Okay, he goes for a double leg here. And I hold on to the belt with my right hand and my left hand is posted on the mat. That gives me a good enough support to keep me from bringing my back to the floor and I'm able to get to my knees and sprawl. From there, I bring my right leg over his armpit and then I try to lock up the side triangle. I like to connect my right heel to my left knee and then bring that ankle under my knee. And then if I get it tight enough, he won't be able to get his head out. Unfortunately here, I don't lock up the triangle all the way, so he's able to make space with his hands and then get his head out. From here, I'm looking for an opportunity to advance in position and step over to mount when he bridges. From here, I uh, remain stable and start working to get to the S mount. Okay, but that is it for this roll. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe and let me know what you think in the comment section.